Okay, so we've got a background element. Now we need to add some media. So we're going to again go to our comp, add layer element, and we'll just use a standard media plate in this case. Okay, so this is generating. And for reasons I will explain later, we will child this media plate to our BG. And I'm going to call this media plate key. Okay. Now, if we go into the details panel of the media plate, we'll find this section called composure. And obviously what we want to do in the first instance is add some media. So you'll see there's quite a few ways of doing that. There's this media texture, which is what we're going to use here. As part of the off -world Live toolkit, you get NDI, Spout, and Screen Capture inputs. So that's quite neat. Then you also get a, a texture input here as well, which is from a, a render target. But we're going to use the media texture input here. And so in order to do that, we, we're going to add a movie, which is going to play on loop here. So that's the same one that we saw in the first video. And that's a free green screen download that you can test with. And you can see a link in the description below. So when we need to add a movie, we go to our content drawer, content, and we need to add a new folder, and we're going to call it movies. And then inside that folder, we'll right click, go to media, and do file media source. Again, I'll just call that, let's call it composure, mov, and call it what you like. And when we open this up, and then click this dots, it's going to open up the folder which contains these movies. And in this case, we don't have any movies, but I've got another folder here where I've got a movie. This is the one we want from demo. So I'm going to copy this and then go back here and I'll just paste it in here. Okay. Now we see the file is showing here, so that's what we want. So we can now get rid of this. And now, again, we go back to movies. And this time, we're going to add a media player, uh, because it's going to play this movie. And we're going to click video output, media texture asset. And that's the media texture we're going to use in our comp. So why don't we call this comp layer and then we get this texture and if we open this up you can see this composure mov that we've added is here. So what we want to do is we need to loop it because it's only nine seconds long and then the other thing we need is we've got to keep this player open. Now later on if you've got your comp set up and you go into runtime then you can set up a blueprint to do this, but for the moment, just have it open here because we're going to do all this configuration in editor. So next step, now we've got our movie here, is that we're going to select the this texture that we've added in our media plate. So here it's called comp player, and there we go. We just select it there. And so now we've got this coming in, and that was, you know, pretty easy. So next we will look a little bit at keying this.